Well, why are they in the shower so long? <clears throat> Eventually, oh, <clears throat> they get out of there and uh, cuddle in bed. Mm -hmm. They're go with the flag. Dodecanese drifters. And uh, mindlessly gaze out the uh, windows. The curtains are blowing out uh, onto the beautiful Gian. They're upstairs. They got a great view of Scott all over the rolling a Gian. Mm -hmm. Ah, they inhale the palpable tranquility. And uh, The, the the divine nav it, it remains undisturbed because Patmos has no disturbance. Noisy Tavernus, uh uh. Not like Mykonos, discotheque. Rodos? I'm not going to mention Rodos. Look, at, on this island, you crack pistachio nuts too vigorously. Uh -oh. And uh, for fun, the parents read their children's stories from the Bible. Yeah, okay. Um, the scene here, serene, okay? Uh, like on Sundays. I mean, this is a regular Greek village. They don't even stay in the churches the papas with the long beards and the black robes they come these come right out of the church and stroll through the village uh, uh, swaying these silver incensors of burning uh, and chanting in ancient greek from the bible They act like the whole island is one vast Orthodox Church. Well, uh, in fact, it is. Uh, something uh, a little more, uh, what's Potmos look like? Uh, people don't have the book, there's no pictures. Uh, what do they look like, you wonder, uh, Goddess Earthy? A little about the... Uh, Well, oh, it's volcanic. Yeah, uh, rocky. Sparsely happened. Yeah. 3,000 villagers on the whole island. And just three cars on the entire island. Leftover Mercedes uh, from the Nazi occupation in World War II. Not only just white. Magnificent luxury caps and rows, uh, 200 of them, ready to take you for a good time. Oh, yeah, um, yet even these motor cars, they seem out of play. Cars here, huh? Oh, no, uh, uh, Podmos is petite, dry, uh, similar to, uh, Piscopi. The seahorse. Visuros. And sponge, yeah. Um, and like Shiva Hawk noticed, uh, it's 11 kilometers north to south and seven kilometers wide. Small, huh? Uh, Rhodes is like 100 kilometers north to south and about 40 miles wide. Just to confuse you between metric and uh, English measuring system. You got to be a world citizen. At some point, you have to grow up and learn all these different systems. Not depend on the author to keep translating it for you. Before I get blown away. Um. Well, look, the Greeks didn't settle though the harbor. Uh, in Scala, where, where Shiva and Shakti are 
uh, because uh, there's pirates everywhere. You know, until 1820, when finally the Aegean was, you know, mostly clear of pirates. And uh, so the people of uh, Ro uh, of Patmos can come out of the monastery of Christodelus for the first time, who, since the 11th century? Wow, that brilliant sunshine. I wish. Oh, what a trip. Um, Shiva Hawk banks in a descending spiral. I hope you can still see me. Um, before aligning himself with the three windmills that exploit the ridge, uh, running down the mountain to the sleepy harbor, mutated enormous hawk, glides over uh, those windmills, yeah, and uh, follows familiar cypress trees. He knows every tree on the island. Uh, and winging over that historical hot spot of prophecy, the cave of St. John. Hmm. I, I'm a little bit of a dilemma here. To keep going, I'm going to have to wipe off the lens of the camera. That really spoils, actually, the uh, suspension of uh, a disbelief, if you've ever believed anything anyway. You know, otherwise, i got to start all over. Just... That's yeah, much better. Anyway. Um, oh, thanks for hanging around. Yeah, he's he's swooping well, Shiva Hawk, on rodent, snake, and scorpion patrol, mm -hmm. lizard patrol over the cave scene. And he flies down the mountainside to the harbor of Scala. <laughs> Never mind. If I was wealthy, I would cut that out in post-production. <laughs> this is all just for fun. Um, and gets an unsuspecting scorpion. You know the Scorpios? Manipulative dreamers? Wrong time. The Hilfie Pilgrims. Um, Dodecanese breakfast, yeah. I mean, we're talking Nescafe with that syrupy, sweet and white condensed milk in it, and then sesame rolls. Oh, uh, circular. Yeah, all good. Oh, yeah. And, well, over breakfast, uh, Shiva scrutinizes the map of the area, and he uh, lets clear on it that uh, once we get out of the Dodecanese, uh, we'll be entering the Sporadis Islands. Well, yeah. Laugh, Cleo, as she rests the map out of his hand. And uh, <clears throat> pushes her breasts together to offer uh, her Shiva a dessert. Her Malona? Oh. That represents passing time. Eventually, <coughs> yeah, they get back to making a, a travel plan uh, from Patmos. They'll sail north to the next island in the Sporadis. <laughs> uh. And from there, they'll take the ferry, just a few kilometers, to Kusadasi, the, the port in Turkey. And uh, for Pamukkala Hot Springs, the Tomb of Moon, Tough Cones of Cappadocia, Flower Children on the Crusade to India, thousands of them, 
100,000 streaming over to India. <sighs> the freaks of nature hold hands as they stroll up uh, the verdant pastoral road leading to the cave of St. John. They pause to breathe in the awesome uh, Aegean air. Mm -hmm. Viewpoint over Scala Harbor, the offshore islands of Acre and Lipsy. Mm -hmm. Scintillating intensely in the sunlight. Yeah. Cleopatra turns to face her lover. She embraces him. Just as him do it mm -hmm. After J.S. Cleo holds her lover tighter and will not uh, against her. Okay, let's see. And will not let go. Uh uh. No wiggle room for him. She rests her chin on his shoulder, spaces out, gazes at the awesome Aegean. <laughs> Look at that raggedy formation of pelicans. <laughs> mm. Yeah. She pulls his warm boyhood against her cunt <laughs> and kisses him deeply, lustfully again. He's such an embarrassment. Melt into the Petting? Petting. Animal petting. Human animal petting. Yeah, she uh, he unbuttons her uh, pink uh, downy sweater with a little pearl fringe. Yeah. Part that aside and manhandles her Malone out. Oh, mm. Freckled breast. You get this funky. <laughs> and the Aegean island wind. <laughs> oh. Oh. Earthman Cleopatra privatized their love from the world in the tall, moist grass amongst the undulating cypress trees. Cleo unzips. the blue jean heights and shorts of Hoshila mm -hmm. to get at his jade stock <laughs> as they say in China mm -hmm. and she deftly hand strokes earth man's uh, sensitive Shiva lingam as they say in India his, his cock is getting huge under his shorts and uh, with her serpentine wet tongue ready to go, she moistens her lips uh, before she uh, sinks to her knees in the grass to save a raw sack on her and her knees. 